Yesterday, while I was returning from the school, I witnessed something traumatic. I saw a man running on the road while shouting, Give way for the ambulance! Give way for the ambulance! While the ambulance was stuck in the traffic. I felt sad. I thought, what would happen if the ambulance lost time there? Today, I am going to talk about a huge problem in India. Traffic. Traffic is a huge problem in India. It causes delays and wastes most of our time while travelling. But the main problem is with ambulances. You see, whenever someone needs urgent medical assistance, they call an ambulance. But most of the time, there is a delay. And this delay can be very costly. It can take a life of a person. According to a survey from the Hindu, nearly 2,000 people die each year due to delay in getting medical assistance. Now, this is a serious problem, yet we do not have a practical solution for this. This problem is also connected to the third SDG goals, which is good health and well-being. So my question is, if people are unable to access these basic medical facilities, how is good health and well-being be assured? So I have a solution for this. I call this FRIA, First Respondent in Action. This is a voluntary healthcare services offered for a short period of time, where I first gather a few local volunteers, give them training about ma basic medical assistance and training, and after enough training, I leave them back to their normal lives. Now, whenever an emergency situation occurs, our software will link the nearest volunteer who would be the first person to reach there and provide medical assistance while the ambulance is on its way. This is an effective method because the volunteers are none other than the local people. My main idea behind this awareness program is to spread awareness among people on how to handle a medical situation. Most of the time, people are unaware on how to tackle an emergency situation and because of their ignorance, many deaths happen. Through this, I also promote the Good Samaritan Law which encourages people to help each other in the time of need. The career which I would like to pursue in order to achieve this is Computer Science Engineering. Now, you might be wondering, how is healthcare related to engineering? But I want to say this, that nowadays, in every field, technology is involved. So, so does it is in healthcare. By being a computer science engineer, I would have more knowledge on the technical side, which would be an advantage for me in building this software. This software is very complicated and would require a lot of technical clearances to develop. At the end of the day, all I hope is that no person dies due to delay in getting medical assistance, because I don't want any of you to experience the pain which I felt in my life. Oh, and by the way, Anirudh here, signing off.